David Dutton exam two prompts video response topic number four discuss three sources of non-renewable and three sources of renewable energy give the advantages and disadvantages for both and describe the technological limitations of producing sustainable electricity current should give governments give high priority to considering net energy yields when deciding what energy sources to support? What factors should be considered? Well, the three non-renewable resources that we have today are coal, oil, and natural gas. Each one of these has um, their advantages and disadvantages. Their advantages are when refined, they produce more energy than their not than their renewable counterparts. Uh, they're back side is that they all cause pollution they when you go down to like corpus or down along the coast near galveston where you see all those refineries giving off uh the gases and the flame plumes and the smoke plumes off of the uh, stacks of the refinery that's all byproduct being burned off and releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and eating away at the ozone layer uh, the three renewable resources that we have today that we use are solar, wind, and water. Advantages for all three is that they're clean sources of energy. And, well, their disadvantages are, especially for solar and wind and water, is that they all destroy ecosystems. Uh, solar for the, uh, you have to destroy a plot of land to set up the power cells and the solar panels, removing countless numbers of animals, insects, and plants from the area. Wind, with the big wind turbines, they pose a threat to birds, bats, and uh, birds of prey flying nearby that you can get hit. And water, dam hydroelectric dams cause problems in, uh, say, spawning fish. That are trying like salmon that are trying to get back to their own birthplace the dams that we've created to make hydroelectric dams they they've had to find ways to allow these animals to get up and around these dams but it's a very long and intensive process to build uh, the ways to get the uh, fish around the dams without causing harm to them and stopping their spawning process um technological uh, limitations well We've been using refineries in the way that they're built since before I was born. So there hasn't been a whole lot done to these uh, power plants that are refining and producing oil, natural gas, and coal. Solar, wind, and water, same deal. It's just different concepts on wind, land, sea, and there's not... They're all dependent, especially the renewable energy resources of solar, wind, and water on the weather. Is there going to be water that year? Is there going to be wind blowing that day? Is there going to be sunshine that day? Um, when giving priority from the government, our priority should be limiting our footprint on the planet. But, again, de with renewable being dependent on Mother Nature and coal oil and natural gas being able to be refined and then immediately put into production it, it kind of takes priority but we've gotten better at switching over to renewable sources of re uh, energy rather than keeping to non-renewable um yes the non-renewable have a better yield in energy rather than non-renew or renewable resources but in a sense, factors really should be, what am I doing to the environment? And what am I doing to produce clean energy is what I think should be the main focus for governments considering factors on which should be a priority.